<laughs> Hello there ladies and gents, how you all doing and welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone Light here on the Hermit Skies map with me, Patanox. Hello, hello, hello. And today we are finally going to start work on Draconic Evolution. That's right folks, we are going to get ready with the whole fusion crafting and making ourselves some drag Draconic Evolution gear. But the first things of course is this whole uh, Draconic Evolution, if I can even say it, the whole Draconic Evolution crafting system uses quite a lot of energy. So we need to make sure that we've got a decent power supply over here from our reactor. So what we need to do is we're going to make a power bank first of all. So if we just come over, we're going to want some vibrant capacitors. And let's see, we have one. And we're going to make another... What do we reckon? Number 15 maybe? Let's just see if we can do that. Can we do it? Yes we can. And we'll go with that one. Start that off. Right, and, what, and look at that. Look how quick. Now that we have all this auto crafting, that is fantastic. Well, okay, so something's wait. Is it's waiting on something? Oh, there we go. Right, well, while that's going on, we shall also set up a couple of the dimensional transceivers. So, in fact, we will set four up. That way, we have a decent power transfer uh, each time because how many is it? I think, let's have a look. Uh, I think it's yeah, 250,000 RF per tick this can send. So as you can see here in this one 475 so if we've got four of them we can send about 950,000 RF per tick. So that should be able to keep going for quite some time. So there's four on this side we're going to need four on the other side. So let me get the power bank all set up and then we will crack on with getting our fusion crafting going. There we go, so we have a power bank in place which actually holds 5 billion RF. So that should be able to keep up with any of the crafting means because some of the uh, Draconic Evolution crafting can use quite a bit of power. And to ensure that it gets to the table properly, we have some cryostabilized flux duct which we managed to get for some of the loot chests quite a while ago. I think we've got about half a stack of this stuff. So it's starting to come in handy. Now of course that needs to connect to something and what it needs to connect to is the fusion crafting table I believe yeah, the crafting core sorry there we are now this needs lapis a draconic core and some never stars now I've been AFK online for a while try to get some never stars and it didn't get me that much <laughs> yeah we only have four of the never star plants so I actually went and killed the wither quite a few times but the main aim of this episode is we want to get to a point where we can auto kill the wither we might not necessarily have the farm set up but what we need to, in order to do that is the Draconic Evolution Grinder which is this one just here. Now as you can see we need to be able to make some Swords of the Wyvern, an Ultimate Furnace and a Wyvern Core. And at the moment, yeah, we can't do any of that. So that is the point of this episode. Whether we get the weather station set up or not, not a problem. I can always get that done in between episodes as I will be using a design by somebody else. And I'll put a link to that when we get around to doing it. So first things first, let's get this fusion crafting setup all going. And we can actually start making some Draconic Evolution armor and also some of the tools. So here we go. The fusion crafting core. Now is that even a quest? Let's just have a quick look at the quests here. Um, fusion crafting. So here we are. We have the fusion crafting core and the basic fusion crafting injector. Now we're going to need quite a few of these. So, can we get round to uh, auto crafting them? So, let's have a look. Fusion crafting core. We have most of this, I do believe. So, how many can we make? I th if we say 12, I believe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. Fantastic. Now, of course, these draconic cores, I've been getting these in loot chests as well. So, I haven't had to make any of these just yet. Well, there we go. There is the quest complete. Top, middle, bottom. Let's go for the middle claim that and we are done so of course we can upgrade these we go to the wyvern the draconic and then the chaos but for now let's just get going with making some of the draconic armor okay so i was wrong we don't have to power it from here it is these crafting injectors which we need to power 
So I've got to set up two banks here, but the first thing we want to get crafting is some of the Awakened Draconium, which is just this way, Awakened Draconium block. We need to craft some of this so that we can start farming it because if we can farm it, it saves having to go through this whole process. But however, you can see, we can do it, convert a Draconian block into an Awakened Draconian block, but we need to use the Wyvern tier, which, we mean, which means we need to upgrade these into the wyvern versions so let's just have a look at the fusion crafting yeah so this is what we have here the basic fusion craft injectors we need to upgrade them to the wyvern fusion craft injectors now for this we need a wyvern core two draconic cores four never stars and a draconian block now in order to make the wyvern core here we go five draconic cores two nether stars and two draconian blocks with a block of emerald in the middle so, let me gather all the resources and we will make sure that this whole system works. Right, so I believe I have all of the items we need for the core. Let's just double check. So we're making these wyvern cores. So yeah, we need five of the draconic cores, two blocks and two nether stars. So let's just see. One, two, hang on, let's put all of them there. Is that right? Hmm. All of them? No, we only want to put one down, don't we? Maybe we can do it all at once. I wonder, can we do all of them? No, I don't think we can. Right, okay, so we obviously have to do it one at a time. What about that? Nope. Okay. Right, so let's scrap that. We're gonna, is it going to make us have to do it the difficult way? Oops. Are we going to have to take these all out individually? Let's see. One, two. Right, okay. So we're going to have to place these out like this, which is going to be a right pain. But still. Oops. At least it will get sorted. So let's see. And one, two, and three. Then two more. One and two. There we go. And there we are. Right. And start. So fantastic. So we need to make nine of these upgraded the cores so that we can upgrade these injectors. So let me get all these crafted and I shall see you in a sec. Okay, so we can actually do these in bulk. You just have to spread them out so each one's right. So look, we have eight in there. It's doing one. Crafting. Now, will it do all eight, or is it just going to do one? Let us see. So, rather than, obviously, rather than having all of them in one block, you have to spread them out. So, you have five Draconic Cores, two Never Stars, and two Draconian Blocks. But I wonder. Let's see. Is this going to do all eight, or do we have to sit here for a while as it fuses and crafts all eight of them individually? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. At least we can put them all in. There must be a way of automating this. Hmm, I wonder. Okay, so I had a brief look at the whole way of automating this, and that's a whole load of fuss that I'm not going to get into right now, especially considering it's been a long time since I last did this. In fact, I think the last time I actually started using Draconic Evolution was probably back in Sky Factory 2.5. So anyway, we're going to upgrade these to the um, next level. So put these in here. Then one, two... And three, we shall stick one, two, three, and four. That's the nether stars. Then draconian blocks, wyvern cores, and these draconic cores. Now that should be enough. Yep, there we go. So I'm going to go get these made. And then what I might even do is, it's probably overkill because we don't need, we're never going to need 18 of them, but for pure sake of symmetry. I'm going to go ahead and do these nine as well. So we'll be back in a moment. And when we're done, we should have 18 of these upgraded crafting injectors. Well, there we are, folks. We have all of these upgraded to the Wyvern injectors now. So as you can see, we have all those done. And I've also went ahead and got ready to start making the Awakened Draconian blocks. So we have 18 of these Wyvern cores, some Draconian blocks, and some Dragon Hearts. 
so now if we stick these all in so I believe it is six fur and a dragon heart to make four, turn four draconian blocks into the awakened draconian blocks so let's get these in here and then the hearts there we go and if we stick these into there haha -ha, fantastic right we'll get these going and then we shall convert some of these awakened draconian blocks and get crafted and make some of the seeds now of course these seeds are much like the nether star seeds in that we have to make a crux for them to grow on top of as well so we're gonna need to make some of those but we'll get all this going just so that we can start making our awakened draconium ready for what because we're probably gonna need quite a bit of this but for now let's get these crafted up and we'll get the seeds done as well and then we can crack on with getting our armor sorted which will be fantastic I go on bit of lag and there we go there's the first ones right so I shall see you folks in a second but there we go I went and got seven of these awakened draconium seeds crafted along with seven of the cruxes as well and we have them put in in our uh, compacting drawer down here in our storage and if we fly on up to the top floor there we go and there we are you'll see the seven there so what we may do is every now and again we shall craft up some more of the end crystals go and kill seven more dragons or probably about in fact we're gonna need more than that no yeah seven dragons gives us seven dragon hearts which means we can make seven more of the cruxes so we can make seven more seeds and just to keep doing that until we have 49 of them growing just like we have with the wither residents we also need to do that with the uh, nether stars as well but that means killing a lot more of the wither of course once we've got the wither killing automated that won't be a problem but for now let's head on back to our uh, draconic infusion area uh, we shall go this way and we shall crack on with getting our armor made up so what we all need to do with the armor first is we actually need to create some carbon armor I believe there we go I just wanted to change this sign I keep every time I come through I mean to change that sign and I never get around to doing it <laughs> so right here we go we are ready to go making our armor so we now have the awakened draconian being mass produced it's time to crack on with our armor now as you can see if we just type in here the wyvern there we go we'll start with the helm now in order to make the wyvern helm we have to enchant it well in craft it so yeah uh, what's the word infuse it <laughs> an emerald infused carbon helm with these blocks to turn it into the wyvern helm now in order to make this we need a carbon helm with rods and a carbon helm is our supremium with carbon blocks so it's that time folks we have these chests laid out and there we go so there's the helmet our chest place that needs to be a carbon jetpack so we have the jetpack upgrade the trousers and the boots so let's start off with our helmet shall we so in order to do this we take one helmet wrap it around with carbon blocks make a carbon helm okay so we managed to get the upgrade back off of that now is it like that yes there we go one emerald infused carbon helmet now we have to place all of these into here so oh, hang on there we go we've learned last time that we do it one at a time like so one and two and then one and two there we go so that's all those pieces we put the helmet in there and there we go now while that's charged up I just had a thought the infusing system for these is all exactly the same because if you notice look four blocks a core a core and nether stars four core core stars four core core stars so why don't we just craft up all of these then we can put all of those in together what a not a bad idea that Pat now let's see this actually needs to be that way there we go and then this is like so yep brilliant and then that is there 
Right, so that is the jetpack. Then if we do the trousers as well. So again, that is them there, I believe. And up and around. Yep. We get that back from those. And then there we are. Right, there's our greaves as they're called. And then the boots. Now there we go. Nope. Okay. No. Hmm. Does it have to be in the top? Yes, there we go. Right. And we get those back. Awesome. Right. So let us just uh, gather up all of these as well. Why not? And we shall put all of those in together. And then we can just crack on one at a time. So this is four of them. So yes, we have three. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. Three cores, three, and two. Right, so you in there. You in there, there and there. There we go. So now we don't have to worry about doing it all individually. We can do it all together. So there we are. There's our helmet. Let's do the jetpack. And there we go. There is our chest piece. Fantastic. We do our greaves. And there is our leggings sorted. Fantastic. And then finally, our boots. Last but no means least. And with this, this is our entire set of Wyvern armor, folks. Fantastic. I can't wait. Now, we need to charge these up. So, can we charge these up from the vibrant capacitor banks that we have? Or do we need a specific charger? To be honest, I'm not entirely certain. We shall find that out in just a moment. Come on, baby. Is that a quest complete? There we go. Wyvern armor. Let's have a look. Bad. And we did that quest as well. Brilliant. We'll take the bottom one this time. Claim that. And we might as well take the bottom one this time as well. Excelente. Now. Aha, we need awakened cores and chaotic cores. It's going to be some time until we got those. Right, portable battery. No, we haven't done that yet, but I think we might have to soon. So let's just see. Can we charge these up in here? Yes, we can. Now, why aren't those charging up fully? Ah, there we go. Just needed updating. Brilliant! Right, let's get rid of our dark solarium chest plate. There we go. Tell you what, let's take off our goggles and our magnet, which needs charging as well. Check it out, guys. We are fully kitted out. Hello, hello, hello. And tell you what, let me just uh, let's stick the goggles back on. How does that look? Ah, oh, now we're talking. You want some? You want some? Right, well now that we have our armour, let's crack on with the final thing that we want to get done in this episode. So what we want to crack on for the final part of this episode is we want to make the mob grinder from Draconic Evolution. Now just have a look at it. Oh, yeah, by the way, this armour may be great and give me fire resistance. However, we cannot fly with the Wyvern armour. We need the Draconic armour. That's going to take some upgrading. But so for now, I've just gone and put my jet plate back on. But right there, start with, let's get this grinder made. So as we can see, the mob grinder. So we need a couple of swords of the wyvern, some Rigian plates, a wyvern core, an ultimate furnace, and the energy cell. Now, the ultimate furnace we already have as we went and did those quests earlier on. The Iridium plates... I've gone and set up the compactor with a interface below so we can make plenty of plates with this. And then, if you have a look in here, I went and made the energy cell as well. Now, we have these here and this is going to make our swords for us. So in order to make these swords of the wyvern, we have this crafting set up here. So let's just go into our crafting grid. So, 
make these swords of the wyvern there's one and there is two fantastic now in order to actually make the mob grinder there we go so we have all of the items now and hopefully we should be able to make one mob grinder there we go fantastic we can now make oh there's the quest for it as well there we go we'll take the bottom as we've taken the bottom so far today as well right so we can now make an automated wither killing station awesome now can we do any more of these portable teleportation that'd be rather handy to do as well <coughs> excuse me now the draconic staff of power that could be rather handy but what do we need in order to make that the staff of power here we are <coughs> oh blimey um yeah it might be some time before we get around to doing this folks we can make start making some of the parts but yeah we ain't going to be doing that just yet so what else did we have <coughs> excuse me a portable battery that would come in rather handy if we do start wearing the armor so a flux capacitor let's have a look flux capacitor there we are that one there right so four energy cores one core and some blocks Do you know what that could be pretty easy to make so let's have a look now these cores we can auto craft them so we want four of them yep let's get you going there we are now we need one of these so let's take five of you two of you and two of you <coughs> excuse me folks we'll stick that back in there for now right let's get this going we will need an emerald block as well we'll get that in just a second and then also we will open up this loot chest as well see if we've got anything good in there those other two we got we got a couple of the tier one growth crystals and a couple of flasks of fleet feet so nothing to write home about really i'll just grab an emerald block and there we go get you in there thank you right now while that's charging let's see what we got fingers crossed epic bacon that's not too bad because that will save us having to craft some more meals right so that there we also need four draconian blocks one two three four lovely and you and we will get this flux capacitor and that will be another quest now i wonder how easy it is to make a draconic flux capacitor let us just find out in a moment so flux capacitor let's make you there we are let's get the quest for that one lovely and bottom yet again now let's have a look so in order to make the next stage up the draconic flux capacitor oh yeah so draconic energy cores yeah this is where this is why we need the awakened draconian folks because look at all this we are going to need tons of this stuff so in between episodes i might just go and kill the dragon a fair few more times in fact how many crystals can I make right now? Let's have a look. I have these in here. How many we've got? 18 until we run out of glass. Now the glass panes, we can actually we actually have that craftable, I do believe. Yep, there we go. So let's just go ahead and make a whole load more. There we go. Right, let's try this again, shall we? so there we are crystals brilliant 41 so that's another 10 dragon hearts of course this is still producing oh no okay right well in between episodes folks i am gonna go ahead and kill the dragon a fair few more times see if we can't max out our awakened draconian production and I'm also going to go ahead and set up the automatic wither killing station. I may do that on F camera. I may do it in between episodes and try and bolster our nether star production.
because now that we're going to get into extreme crafting we need plenty of nether stars uh, we're also going to need to start making some of those singularities for our infinity ingots and maybe even start looking and get into some transmutation with the project e but anyway folks that is going to do it for this episode we now have draconic tell you what let's finish this in style there we go we now have our draconic armor and the draconic evolution mob grinder so we can finally start getting towards the end game goal killing those chaos guardians and maxing out all of the quests so anyway folks that is going to be it for this episode if you have enjoyed it please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button if you're new to the channel don't forget to click subscribe and folks ring that bell so that you get notified yes ring the bell but anyway take it easy guys and i will see you all in the next episode bye bye oh miss flight